Back now to the race for the White House with former President Trump here in South Florida holding a round table. And local tennis Glenna Milberg is live at that event in Doral. She's joining us there live. Glenna, what do you have? What's going on out there? Christy. Oh, well, uh, the party's over at the moment. Photos are underway. They called it a round table. It was really kind of a rally. Let me show you the table is actually not round at all. It was a long table and this was Miami Dade, Hispanic, mostly business men and women, and the who's who of Miami Dade politics, both county and city, when it comes to the Republican Party here. Let me take you a little bit of video. The former president walked in almost on time. Usually, if these events run sometimes an hour late, today he was only seven or eight minutes late, and uh, riffed for about an hour on a lot of the themes that you've been hearing this campaign. Um, he, I will say, was the quiet-voiced Donald Trump. It was kind of an intimate affair, a very friendly crowd, especially after the first day of early voting yesterday when the county Republican Party got numbers of, of, of very heavily voting numbers in their favor. So a little bit of a pep rally there. Uh, two Latino Americans uh, whom Trump is courting heavily, a very important voting bloc, not only nationally, but of course, here in Florida and in Miami-Dade. Uh, he talked to the big issues that you have heard him talk about before that are Latinos' big issues and Americans' big issues. The economy and the border, those are what he's perceived are his strong points. But he also did a lot of riffing, uh, on a lot of kind of a dark rhetoric about the state of the country, not entirely in context and true, but these are his campaign themes. And this crowd was just buoyed by it. Uh, he is just leaving now a lot of, uh, at his Doral place, did I mention? This was here at Doral, uh, the Trump Doral golf course. Very tight security as always. And a lot of politicos that are on the ballot with him. Senator Rick Scott running for re-election, uh, Congressman Maria Salazar and Carlos Jimenez all on that ballot too. So you are seeing a very heavy push for Miami-Dade Latinos to get out the vote. That is what this is all about today. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Doral today, Local 10 News. Okay.